Hello all. If uh, you're an AMD or ATI video uh, card user in Arch Linux, uh, you probably know well by now. Um, uh, as it says here, Catalyst does, doesn't support Zorg Server 1.15, which is what's installed if you're doing a new installation. So you check out this Zorg repositories. And we have to add this to our Pac-Man config file at the very top above everything else, other repositories. So just open a terminal and uh, whatever editor you're using, make sure you run it as sudo. I'm going to use leafpad and etsy pacman.config, c-o-n-f, sorry, and scroll down. It says repositories. And so above this, even where it says number I mean the pound sign commenting out testing. We'll just copy this. And put a enter there and V. And what I do is also add the SIG level equals optional trust all because I had problems with the keys not uh, being accepted. So and then uh, just save that and quit. Um, now we'll just uh, issue a sudo. Sorry, I don't have a desktop zoom right now. I just uh, installed LXDE quickly. So sudo pacman s y y just to make sure the mirrors are up synchronizing. And import that key. Let's hope it allows me to do that. Okay. And sudo pacman does syu. Okay. Here's the tricky part. It gets very tricky, and you have to sort of decide what you want to keep. And there's things uh, XF86 input FDEV, ATI video, Zorg has to be downgraded to these all these versions here. So you might want to like, uh, um, whoops, you might want to take this warning part here just right click on it and copy and I'll open a text file I'll just uh, make it straightforward say leaf pad here I'll just paste that in and file save uh, home folder sign is just reference for reference for catalyst and you can close that if you don't you might you may need or you may not so anyway uh, glamour EGL uh, remove this uh, select yes and that's the problem it says LXDM requires Zorg server so um, it's a lot of backtracking um, if you do a pseudo Pac-Man dash R NS Zorg dash server. Okay, so you probably have to remove. Uh, you probably have to remove uh, LXDM. That's just your login manager. So hopefully we can remove it. Uh, so sudo pacman dash R N S L X. You can reinstall it after LXDM. Okay, and try running an update again, see what it does. Okay. And so now we're going to have uh, Zorg server removed. Okay. And let's try it again. So we can try... Uh, Pack, sorry, sudo pacman dash r n s zorg dash server dash common. And that's going to remove a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, then we'll do a sudo pacman s y u again. 
Okay, warning uh, is installed as newer than. So XF86 input FDEV. And this one, the XF80, um, XF, XF86 video ATI. And there's also the, if you have 64 bit, the lib, lib32. So see if we can get rid of that. sudo pacman dash r ns uh, lib32 dash ati, I believe, dash dri. Can I get rid of that? Yes. And then um, XF86 uh, dash video dash ATI. Hopefully most of this is uh, making sense to you. It's tricky and it's like it's guessing game. So we'll do Yao Art. Okay. And I use a Catalyst dash test for uh, the Catalyst drivers and we'll see what happens. So it's uh, number one. Instead of exiting on here, I'll open a new terminal. Pack. Oops. Sorry. Pseudo. Pacman. Dash RNS. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Restart. Edit package. No. Edit package. No. Okay, so it was just a matter of removing that uh, X86, uh, and it's going to download the version we need. As you see here, XF86 input FDEV. We should be good to go from here on in. Okay, so uh, after it does its compiling and makes the package, uh, do you want to continue installing? You can press enter or type yes, your choice. And it shouldn't take too much longer. Then we see a set of instructions uh, come up. And uh oh, here we go. Hopefully, we can remove Mesa libgl. And yes, good. So it was the 32 libgl and the uh, Mesa libgl as well. And it's uh, now building the uh, kernel module, the FGLRX. And here are the instructions here. If you're in a uh, non desktop mode, uh, it's much larger. So. Uh, you see about up to here. So you have to do a few things. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before in another video, but it's worth mentioning again. Is if you're using Grub, okay, it's important that you at first anyway add this no uh, no mode set to the Grub line. We'll do that in a second. Then you have to if you want uh, the ACP ID of the ATI event running uh, you have to download ACP ID and then enable that and then you just uh, enable system control catalyst hook and then start it and then temp links catalyst same thing and start and then finally run um, sudo ati config dash dash initial and I think Qt should be installed I did install Qt4 but maybe it's changed so back down and I'll just I'm gonna open a new terminal okay and I'm gonna do super user so su type in your uh, root password and uh, we'll just again use any editor you want you can use nano uh, g edit whatever you have so leafpad uh, etc default uh, grub this line here it says Grub command line or CMD line Linux underscore default. And it says quiet. Just after quiet, put a space and type in no. All one word. No mode set. Control S to save. Control Q to quit. Then we have to uh, update our grub. So it's grub dash mk config dash o slash uh, boot grub grub dot cfg okay and since we're in here uh, the next one is to get uh, if you want the event tracking it would be uh, 
ACP ID. So just uh, sudo, I uh, don't need sudo pacman dash s ACP ID. Okay. And then it's system control enable ATI event SD. So system CTL enable ATI event SD. And we'll just arrow up one and replace the word enable with start. Okay. Next one is, uh, here, I want to just copy and paste these. Enable catalyst hook. Copy. Paste. And then we'll just take this. That's a good thing about installing these uh, from the desktop interface is uh, copy and paste saves some time. And finally, the bug workaround here. Paste. And copy, paste. Now, just in case there are remnants of uh, the Radeon, the uh, open source driver around, uh, we should, while we're in the root, uh, we might as well leaf pad slash Etsy slash modules load dot D and then Radeon dot C O N F. And it's just a blank file, but you just say black list, one word, Radeon. Save and quit. Okay, that should be good for the root terminal part. We'll exit out of both of this. And then uh, down the bottom, clear the screen, it's sudo ati ooh, config dash dash in uh, initial. There we go. So it's been saved. And next up is reboot your system, and let's hope this uh, works. I'll be back if it's uh, working. <laughs> if it's not, then you'll know. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so back after a reboot. Okay, uh, we're back, and uh, obviously it worked. I'm in the Catalyst Control Center, and it's a couple things I want to mention. Um, if you're using dual monitors, and you have like an underscaling issue with uh, one of the screens. Uh, for my, in my case, it's uh, DTV adjustments, and I go to overscan as full as I can and apply. Every time I reboot, um, it doesn't stick. So you edit this file, etsy, ati, um, amd, ps, etc. This is all in the uh, Catalyst wiki. Edit this line, TV enable overscan equals V1 um, equals V1. We have to change that to a zero. And then save and quit. And a few other things. Uh, you can uh, check this with the command. This is in the, on the, the web page as well. GLRX, GLX info and uh, direct rendering. If it says yes, then you have that. And there's like the gears. GLX Gears, which is a nice little gear presentation for you. And press Control C or close this, either one, close. Then there's another one, um, F, G, L, and then the Gears. And that shows you a different DirectX, or Direct Rendering, sorry. Um, of your catalyst. Okay, uh, so close that. So that should sum up. I know it's a lot, <laughs> um, a, a lot of trial and error. <clears throat> and uh, I forgot to mention, if you use, um, I uninstalled LXDM. I totally forgot to reinstall and re-enable it. Um, if you're using LXD desktop and you want the login manager, LXDM, just make sure to reinstall it. Um, but other than that, uh, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, and with any luck, AMD will release a updated version for uh, Zorg 1.15. All right, so that's it for this one. And uh, I'll try to help you out if I can. And um, read through the uh, the Arch Linux uh, Catalyst wiki as well for reference. 
Okay, so thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and uh, bye for now.